I can hear the distant cries of mothers mourning their dead sons. I can hear the last gasp of air escaping every man, woman and child who was ever hung. I can hear the shrieks and the cackles of the innocent witches who were burnt. I can hear the soft drip drop of blood falling from those trees with the strange fruit. I can hear the dislocating bones of those who were strung to four horses and quartered. I can still hear the ghosts of all of the indigenous peoples that we slaughtered. I can hear the wails of women being raped in broad daylight and in dark alleyways. I can hear doors being kicked down as an Iraqi family sits down to pray. I can hear Native American chants as strange ships land upon their shores. I can hear ancient rainforests being cleared in the name of economic growth. I can hear the rattle of slave chains before their bodies crash into the ocean. I can hear the slave traders laughing over the top of all of the commotion. I can hear their broken hymns and the sounds of dogs tearing flesh from limbs. I can hear the cracks of whips on the backs of the sick. I can hear apartment blocks crumbling under incessant missile fire. I can hear the blood pouring out of those bodies who never made it out in time. They only had 60 seconds. I can hear children closing their eyes and dying. I can hear the gas slowly but surely filling the shower blocks. I can still hear their terrified screams as they realize those doors are locked. I can hear bodies drop to the floor as bullets riddle their torso. I can hear the victims of domestic violence and their children even more so. I can hear the bleating of every lamb that was ever sacrificed. I can hear the final moments of every single human life. I can hear the whistle of the sniper's bullet as it rushes past my head. I can hear the thud behind me as my comrade falls dead. I can hear Viking chants and church bells. I can hear raging fires as if from hell. I can hear angels weeping in grief-stricken despair. I can hear the sound of airstrike sirens going off at the same time as a call to prayer. I can hear all of this every night. Every time I'm alone and quiet, I can hear everything we have done to each other. Throughout all of time, when I'm silent, do not think I am still inside. I can hear everything from our celebrations that very first night we learned how to make fire, to the fireworks that light up the Palestinian night sky. And I've heard enough. So let me tell you what I hear now. I can hear the rumblings of dissent becoming an almighty chorus. I can hear the sound of a generation who has learnt from the mistakes made before us. I can hear voices in my head that I've never heard before. I can hear wisdom and knowledge paving a new way forward. I can hear all social change movements merging into one cause. I can hear armor being strapped on and helmets fastened. I can hear spears rattling against shields and rib cages and a million feet stamping. I can hear an almighty dust storm gathering that will blot out the past. I can hear a future beckoning me forward and a peace that will last. I can hear my comrades rising into their most noble selves, young men and women with no fear of darkness, hell or death itself. I can hear soldiers willing to sacrifice an entire lifetime of service for the innocent and the forgotten. Warriors ready to defend the weak, the poor and the downtrodden. I can hear men who will no longer allow the dishonoring of women. I can hear children with wisdom and parents who will hear them. I can hear a revolution brewing like none we have ever seen. I can hear the birthing of a civilization like none that has ever been. I can hear the earth breathing a sigh of relief for a new generation has finally found the courage to speak and turn nervousness and uncertainty into bravery and belief like we were fucking alchemists. I can hear foot soldiers throwing up at the sight of the battlefield before wiping their mouth and charging forward. I can hear rebels without a cause becoming irrepressible forces. I can hear a clamor arising from deep within the souls of human beings as we begin to remember the glorious, majestic beings we once used to be. I can hear all of this every night, every time 
time I try to sleep is all I've ever lived for. It's all I've ever dreamed. I've come back to this life one more time so we can find our way home. So who the fuck is with me? I can hear all of my past lives collapsing in on this very moment. I fought this battle 10,000 times, baby boy, I swear. It's all I've ever known. I've come back once more, this time with my pen and my mind as my shield and my sword. I remember the battles that we lost and each and every one of the lives that we mourn. But trust me, my love, this war will be won for a new breed is now born. A new kind of being that walks upon this earth. The kind that puts the protection of hearts first. Pours its blood, sweat and tears into soulful work. Giants who walk tall with their shoulders broad. Carrying the weight of the entire world without ever finding reason to pause. Hear me my loves. We are the ones we've been waiting for. So let us build our fortresses again. This time out of flesh and bone. Let them know that we have risen once more. Let them know we have risen once more. Stand up, my comrades. Let them hear you roar. Let them hear you roar. Can I just um, ask, because I feel that, I know you feel that, and there's this bit of safety that you might be feeling about expressing, but if you feel what he just gave, if you feel that, and you still feel in your integrity, I'm not trying to push you, but if you feel your integrity to sit, quietly clap, and whistle, that's cool. But if you felt an inkling to stand up, if you felt an inkling to give voice to every single act he described that relate to your people, your history, to us, I just ask you once to applaud again and let him feel that you heard him. Far too much coffee, smoke too many cigarettes just to keep me awake so I can work those 18 hour days without stopping and every now and then when I sneeze or cough I feel a bit of my tooth fall into my mouth because mm. I drink too much coffee and I can't afford to fix my teeth but I don't give a shit because I want to burn so there's nothing left of me so I can do everything I did, <coughs> everything I possibly can and leave nothing on the stage because that's all this is, it's just a fucking stage, we're going to wake up one day and realise that. Leave it all on the stage. I don't want to leave you like this, so I've got one really short piece. There's <laughs> books, obviously. I used to sell bacon and egg breakfast for 20 bucks, now I sell pieces of my soul for 20 dollars, so. <laughs> <laughs> like to buy my soul, it's over there. <laughs> the USB stick has a PDF copy and the album on it, if you'd like. Um, and... Damn you, you just ripped my heart out and threw it to the floor. <laughs> some of you might have noticed some flyers that I left on some of the tables. I'm starting a mentorship program called Unfazed. 
Um, it's about emotional core strength. It's something that has been on my mind, kind of touched on earlier. Um, if it, you feel it's something you'd like to look into, the, the flyers and the tables. Um, and it's all on the website and all the rest of it. Um, I want to thank Slammer for having me. I want to thank you guys for being present. Um, and I look forward to seeing you all in different projects and in different circumstances, trying to create something that creates something that creates something. Um, so thank you for having me. <laughs>